Hi everyone, hope you all are doing good. For this week's reading, I will be working with the Tarot Grand and then I have the Psychic Tarot with me and also my Oracle cards, okay? So before we jump into the reading, I wanna wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. Okay, we're celebrating Thanksgiving long weekend here in Canada. And um, so just wanted to wish you guys a very happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is important, especially in my family, uh, you know, I, I normally cook a lot and that's what I do on Thanksgiving Day. I'm cooking the, you know, I make the turkey, the gravy and the works with it. So I was in the kitchen all morning and the videos got delayed as you can see. But here I am and <laughs> we will jump right into the reading and we're going to see what messages are coming through. Okay, so I make, a, so I make this big feast almost like, it's like twice a year I do that on Thanksgiving and, and on Christmas Day. So it's almost like a tradition I do it like every year. Anyways, let's get into the reading. As always, these are general readings. Take the parts that resonate with you and let the rest go. So spirit, what messages need to come through for the collective? You already have one card here. What messages need to come for the collective? I like to go with six cards, but you'll we'll see, okay? Two more. Oops. Okay. I think some of these cards I had, like this one, I had in the last reading as well. We're going to see what's coming through. Okay. Okay. So we start with the King of Cups, the Seven of Cups. Okay the four of pentacles the ace of pentacles the knight of swords this is the card that came up last time the devil okay and bottom of the deck is the queen of swords okay i feel this is your energy okay whoever is watching i feel this is your energy whether you're an air sign or not doesn't matter okay okay You've dealt with people who fed a lot of illusions to you. You see this card? It's like rainbows and lollipops and pr the promised land. I don't know why I'm hearing that. The promised land. They, they made promises, okay? Whether it was love or whether it was money. We're, we're going to get into this partnership or we're going to be, you know, this couple or we're going to be, you know, you're that special person or whatever, you know? And it's like i don't know why i'm hearing all that glitters is not gold this is this is a very lovey-dovey kind of uh, energy that i'm feeling but either these people were stingy with their love or selfish it was like i don't know i'm getting this vibe almost like if i give you this love then i want this in return what am i getting out of this love okay or what am i getting out of this so there is this very stingy calculated kind of um relationship or love that i'm i'm picking with this it's almost like i i don't know why i'm getting this fantasy this creating this fantasy okay creating this illusion whether this was a love relationship or relationships it was just it was just a fancy cover to the book okay the, the the book did not have substance but it's just a fancy cover that's that's literally the vibe i'm getting okay because uh, with the devil showing up here it's almost like there were st strings attached to those as connections or there were strings attached to those situations okay for some if this was a job situation there, there was if, if this was a job situation it had this 
they've had this exterior where everything seems perfect everything seems to be going right but behind the scenes it's almost like there were underhanded things or there were things that you were not aware of okay that you did not know of and it just it, it's like if you this is if this was a person this was someone who was presenting you that like they loved you and they cared for you and they were in your corner or they were your supporter and they were your do or die but this was just an illusion to kind of keep you stuck where they wanted you to be stuck this was just fed to you this was just an illusion a fantasy that was being given to you you were if this was a love situation this lover said everything that they knew you wanted to hear they they presented themselves the way that they knew that it would meet some fantasy or some unhealed wound within you they almost it's like they projected that they knew what you wanted and they projected that whereas the reality of it was something else and if this is a person this person is either fixated on money or creating wealth or there there's some selfishness okay i mean if the this is this is sounds a bit twisted okay this is if this is a lover this person is just wanting you for a selfish reason for your money and i find this just saying this very sick but it's like they saw you as the prize they saw you as this big ass gold coin and i'm sorry to say it like this i i don't like saying anything like this but really that's what i'm getting it's like you were the prize and if there was like just a relationship they had they had their agenda they had their it's like behind the surface they had their motives and those motives were not about you or those those were not about this was all about what suits them what what works for them there's a lot of lies here but it's under the radar i don't i keep getting this it's just got a very nice cover it's got a very glossy cover uh, but with the queen of uh, swords at the bottom of the deck okay and we see a peacock here right and um, it, it's like, you know, you've, you've uh, pierced through these illusions. You can see through these illusions, okay? I also feel like the, how the peacock shows its feathers, right? It's like you may have said certain words or you may have, you may have shown whoever this person or people are that you know how the peacock opens its wings and shows its basically its feathers right it's like you may have said or set a boundary or said something harsh or said you have spoken your truth it's like you are showing your truth with the peacock and the feathers yeah you are showing your truth you are saying that this is my truth and i am not either i'm not buying into the story i'm not part of this illusion i don't want to participate and if this was like a company or an organization, I feel like you are coming to know the truth about this organization. Let's say you, you may have served this company for 10 years and you thought everything is fine. And you may have come across certain things that you're like, I didn't even know that I was working for this organization. As I, I did not even know that this was going behind the scenes. There's something that is being shown now to you or now very clear to you which was not clear before if this is about relationships this could be also about family members that you did not know because they always presented themselves so sweet so loving so much in your corner or in your favor but it's like now you know now you know and with the queen of swords again you can see the truth and you're speaking your truth okay and you're standing by it. it it's almost like you know with this knight of swords and this devil i feel like 
you're you're taking you're you're taking this devil by its horns. You're taking um, it, it's like you, you're facing the devil basically. You're you're taking it head on. You're like you're not running away from it. You're not buying into the lies. You're I don't know. It's you're not selling. I don't know why I heard selling your soul to the devil. Hopefully nobody's done that. But it's almost like by when I say that, it's like maybe in the past you you got trapped into the charms of this person or the facade or whatever this illusion was presented. But now you no longer, and it took a lot from you to get in but you know again with this falcon you see through it with the sword again you're cutting through the lies okay you're seeing through it i, I feel a very forceful energy with this it's like don't play with don't play with me don't f with me that's the energy that i'm getting i'm, I'm not the one to be effed with okay because i'm not going to allow this I see through this facade. If this is a job situation also, you see through this and you're standing up. You're standing up. You're like, I'm no longer gonna be tied to this toxicity. I'm no longer gonna participate. If there was a person or situation, it's almost like you're standing up. You're standing up to something that was, that was not easy for you to deal with, okay? This was not easy for you to deal with. For some, this is a person who time and again convinces you that they care for you, they love you, they, they are sincere to you, they're supportive to you, but they're not. They're not, okay? They, they, have, they have an agenda, they have a plan, and they want you to be a part of that plan, but the way they want this thing to work out okay and it's like they're showing you what they want you to see and that's all that's all there is to it but i think you're not you're not participating in that and i don't know for some reason this one's from the terror of the vampire but it it's here you know, it was like last week I used this deck, right? And we still have this card. It's not supposed to be. I'm using the Psychic Tarot. And this is, um, this is the Ace of Scepters, the Ace of Wands, okay? But what I'm really drawn to is the cross. It's like, I'm feeling you are protecting your energy. I'm feeling you're protecting yourself. For this cross to show up here in this reading with this devil, it's like, you have, and I'm gonna put it right here. It's like you are protecting your energy. You are protecting your space. And what's growing is beautiful. In your garden, you're growing beautiful roses, red roses, okay? You, you're, you're protecting your life force. You're protecting your peace. You're protecting, maybe you're protecting your money, your assets or whatever, you know, from this person or these individuals who are, projecting something else to you but are all about dark darker stuff right there they could be i don't know i hope not i mean there could be magic involved i don't know why i got that it's like black magic or something and i really hope not okay but these two cards together i don't know why i got that it's like but i feel with this card because for me this card also sees archangel michael and this with the devil i feel like whatever this is whether this is dark magic or dark stuff someone's trying to do over you it's like you are superseding that the light supersedes the dark and and seriously i mean this card my deck is somewhere out there okay and uh I mean, it's not supposed to be, it's not supposed to be here today. Basically, it's not, it's not here. It's not supposed to be in this deck, in this box, but it is. And to me, that is almost like a sign that, you know, your higher self, God, uh, source energy, universe, whoever you believe in, God, goddess energy is protecting you from whatever this 
BS is basically okay it's like you, you're not you're not entangled in this and as I'm shuffling I'm even seeing moving on yes you're moving on you're moving on away from this darkness away from this crap okay if if there were lies being fed to you it's like God source energy the higher forces it's like they are telling you the truth okay they have shown you the truth or they're revealing the truth every because I'm, I'm reading for the collective a lot of people are watching right depending on what stage you are and hopefully you are in a stage where this truth is already revealed and if you're not in that stage it's going to be revealed it's going to be revealed to you so spirit what validation or what other messages can you give to validate this right you know what there are two cards here we have emotional withdrawal this is the eight of cups in the tarot that's again walking away this guy is meditating by the ocean okay this guy is meditating it's like you are surrendering you are healing yourself okay and then we have heart chakra some of you are healing your heart this could be a relationship that that was an illusion that was based on lies someone was selling you a pipe dream someone was selling you they were selling you like they were your knight in shining armor or they were uh, you know the best thing that ever happened to you or something like that and it's like you have been releasing you have been healing your heart you've been connecting you know because this guy this uh eight of cups is normally a in the, ta in the traditional tarot, it's a man walking away, leaving behind eight cups, right? In this, this guy is meditating. So you are healing yourself. You're taking out the time to heal. And I always find spending time near bodies of water very healing and therapeutic for myself. I'm, I'm somehow always drawn to the ocean, the waters, and uh, I find it extremely healing okay uh, so i with the heart chakra and this you are definitely healing your heart you're definitely uh for most of you i feel like you've healed yourself again four is all is a number of balance you're bringing more balance into your life your heart is being healed from whatever this is that was done to you okay and uh, bottom of the deck light this is the sun card hope Oh, sorry, this is actually the star card, okay? This is the card where um, the star card is all about healing again, but you are blessed, you are protected, okay? And Spirit is saying, keep dreaming, your wishes are coming true. Keep, keep your, uh, almost like your eye on the prize and, you know, hope for the best. And this is, again, reminds me of the bubble of light, surrounding yourself in light. And what I'm getting is, even when you were in these devil situations you always had god's protection there is a figure in this i'm not sure if you guys can see this but there is a figure in this god's protection the higher powers protection you were always protected you were always held even in situations that were whether you call it dark whether you call it traumatic challenging whatever you were protected throughout okay so I feel like you, there is something where you are being called to detach, to disconnect. Whether this, this, this connect is from certain people, certain situations, uh, you know, this guy has no internet here. This guy is by himself. So you may need time out, maybe time out uh, in nature or just in solitude where you gather your thoughts and clear your energy okay i find uh, stepping outside in nature to be very healing so maybe that's what you want to do but in all these cards what i'm getting is the same message of protection healing guidance and if i look at the tarot cards and with all the illusions and all the you know I don't know it's it's just doesn't feel good it feels like a heavy energy to me it's like someone who wanted you to be stuck maybe stuck in your mind somewhere okay because the four of pentacles can be this stuck feeling 
they wanted you to be stuck they, they they wanted they were selling you some kind of a pipe dream they were selling you something that was just an illusion that was very very toxic and i feel you have broken free i feel you have healed yourself yeah it was this was very traumatic for you with this disruption card underneath this was very traumatic you see how this is the tower card but he's like it's like he's in different pieces you had to really rebuild yourself and i'm seeing triumph card you you came out victorious on the other end but there is a price that you paid you paid you paid your price by you know going through this through uh you like you broke and you built yourself again okay and spirit was supporting you throughout this i almost feel like i'm getting when you were sleeping at nighttime, your guides, your ancestors were working. They were working on your emotional body. They were working on your mental body, okay? They were healing you. And I've had certain healing dreams myself where, you know, I've seen mermaids in my dream and I, 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 I still have a faint memory of that dream. But I woke up and I was like, wow, that was something so beautiful and I felt so real like just transparent waters and i remember two mermaids with me it was just like i woke up and it was such a special dream i actually felt so much lighter but that was a very challenging time in my life that i was going through at that time i don't know why i felt like sharing that but yeah so just by seeing this water and like i said i love water uh anyways we're gonna pull some cards from this article whoa okay I wasn't expecting so many cards, but they're coming and we're gonna take it, okay? Whoa, that's a lot, but okay. All right, all right. <laughs> so the first card that came out is healing, okay? Healing. So this is validating everything that I was saying. She has a green candle. You are healing your heart. You're healing your energy. You're healing your mind. You're healing your soul. Maybe you have spent your time in solitude and disconnect okay solitude and disconnect and heal yourself and that was the right thing to do and maybe for some that is still the right thing to do where you need to disconnect maybe from certain individuals maybe from certain situations and focus on healing you may be called to do candle healing lighting a candle with intention and healing your space and healing your home and healing your heart and all those good things okay uh, then we have boundaries here, okay? So boundaries are being specified. Now, this again, to me, just like the healing card is validating. You see how, again, she's got this, she's standing in this ring of fire, right? And her heart is illuminated. I feel like your heart chakra is being healed from any kind of trauma, any kind of pain that you have, you may have experienced. You are being healed and uh, spirit is telling you to protect your energy, okay? Because you are a sensitive soul, because you operate from your heart and you see these dark shadows. I don't know, I feel like this is like a shadowy creature kind of thing. It's like spirit has a protection, but spirit wants you to also use your discernment. Yes, we have spirit protection, but you have to use your discernment. You have to, you have to know what situations are for you and which situations are not for me, for you. Okay, and when to detach from certain people, from certain situations, and things like that. Okay, uh, you. Some of you could be traveling, but again, I'm seeing this like, uh, you know, the six of swords, like you moving away, you moving away. Uh, from situations people places and things that caused you anxiety that caused you trauma that caused you so much pain that entrapped you in some way okay you are moving away and there's peace it's almost like all the cards are kind of tying in if i were to put all of these together like this it's like they're all telling a story we have healing boundaries travel peace so you're moving on to a more peaceful state state with this i also feel like your aura you see how she how her aura is so bright guys i uh, this is what i found with my own personal experience when you're surrounded by dark uh, souls or people who bring toxicity they affect your auric field they affect your physical mental emotional health they can uh, it, it can literally literally be poisonous to your soul to be even in contact with 
one person okay to be in contact with that one person the more your sensitivity grows it's like you will be able to pick up when you have when your aura is like this even the slightest thing that comes in this auric space that is far from this forget the devil i mean if, if it if it holds that kind of uh, energy you'll be you'll be so quick to pick up okay and bottom of the deck we have animals okay so some of you have pets and these pets are like your guardians they are like your protectors uh, you may have a dog like this this looks like a little wolf or husky okay and birds could be significant you could be seeing a lot of birds but it's i feel and if you don't have animals just know that uh, you have animal guides and this is very real and uh, you know because um, I have sensed that myself and I maybe I, I have said this in another video where uh, you know I I connected with the wolf spirit and I knew that wolf was my spirit but I actually saw a wolf while I was in the kitchen I saw it in my passage and I couldn't believe my eyes it was just like a you know like a quick glance but it was there so what I'm trying to say is, uh, if physical animals are not around you, you do have animal guides who are with you. And I just noticed, which I never did, there are two little kitties here, okay, by by her side. So maybe uh, some of you have cats and, uh, you know, they are protecting you. They are with you. They are your guides. They walk with you. I get a very good feeling with this reading. To be quite honest, the first half was like, as I was reading it, I was like, oh, damn, you know, again, some toxicity and some, you know, but as a, as the reading went along, I, I really feel you're very protected. I feel you're very, very protected. You're very loved. Whatever you're doing to heal yourself, if you're doing uh, positive mantras, rituals, uh, you know, um, candle healing, just know that it's working. You are protected at all times. But, you know, there is a message of use using discernment you are moving away from people places and things that don't serve you there is more peace coming into your life and for some of you maybe there is a, also a pet coming into your life okay so i'm gonna end at that thank you so much and happy thanksgiving to each and every one of you hope you guys have a good one i will see you soon bye